Hey everyone, welcome back to 20 Minute Masala, uh, where we try to make some healthy, uh, great Indian food within 20 minutes. Uh, today, I've had uh, a lot of requests actually lately uh, for some vegetarian cooking. And so we're going to attempt to make um, a few vegetables, some of the things that maybe aren't a part of your usual um, rotation of vegetarian food um, that is uh, pretty healthy and nutritious. So we're gonna make um, some gourds. Um, so we've got, I've got three of them here. I've got uh, Karela or Karla, which is a bitter gourd um, that we're going to make a sabzi with. And I've got uh, ridge gourd. This is broken, but you can see it's the only way I could get it back from the grocery store. So it's a ridge gourd. Um, and then we have a cute little bottle gourd um, that we're going to make a sweet dish with. So um, I'll go ahead and get started with some ingredients um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about um, my history with some of these um, some of these vegetables. Okay, to start off with, these, these are my beautiful gourds um, that we're gonna show you how to prep in just a second. But um, I'm going to use, for the bitter gourd, which is this, um, I'm going to be using some onion also be, um, here's my cheat. I'm gonna use actually this tamarind date chutney instead of actual soaking the tamarind. Um, and I'm gonna use, this is uh, jaggery powder. Um, I don't love this jaggery powder, but it will have to do. It's kind of a darker jaggery. Um, and just some salt. Um, and probably put a little bit of garlic in there as well. Uh, for my ridge gourds, I'm going to be using um, some onion and tomato. And also, I have soaked some tur dal. Um, it's usually traditionally done with chana dal, but sometimes chana dal takes a longer to cook, so I'm going to just use tur dal and, uh, and some, um, some garlic as well. And then for our sweet dish, we are going to do this bottle gourd sweet dish. And, um, and I'm just going to cheat a little bit and use some sweetened condensed milk and um, I will need some key, which is um, kind of behind me, and it's actually it's actually being done here now. I just doing that. So. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with our bitter gourd, and it does take a little bit of prep. We have to peel it, and we're going to soak it. Um, Gorilla is a very bitter. Um, vegetable and it has, I know it has a lot of healthy properties to it, uh, which I won't get into, uh, but I do remember my dad used to love this and uh, he used to make it on his own and um, and then have us taste it. And as a kid, you would kind of be like, oh, this is disgusting or it's too bitter. Or it's just very, um, it's, it's really strong on the palate. Um, but as I've grown up, I really, really started to enjoy this. Um, so let's get to prep. You can tell that it's a little bit 
a little bit on the browner side. Um, that's okay. It, um, as soon as I put in the tomatoes, it will kind of even out um, a little bit and should taste fine. Okay, and now we're starting this sweet dish over here as well, and Om is gonna help me. And what we have to do first is, I have some ghee, and I just have it in an uh, electric skillet, so I can do it over here at the same time. And uh, you could do this on the stove top if you wanted to, but we're gonna go ahead and let okay. yeah, let that let that heat up to 350 about, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the the bottle gore that I've shredded up right in here. Okay. And you, can you just grab a... Can you, can you grab a... Hmm? Nope, a wooden spoon. Okay, so you can see that the bottle gourd now has been fried up in this ghee. Um, and we're going to get just ready to add the condensed milk. Um, we're going to try it with condensed milk. Condensed milk, right? Oh, no. Like half the can. Not even like three fourths the can. Mm -mm. Yeah. Like about a quarter of the can. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm like a quarter of three fourths of the can as well. Mm -hmm. so what we want to do here is we want to mix it in a nice even consistency. See? It's spoiled. Consistency. You might want to draw something, draw something, draw it, smell it. But it goes away, so it's not permanent. Uh, don't burn yourself. Okay. And then just, just, it looks like milk, and it looks like soggy. That, that. It looks soggy. Can you get the cardamom powder and the saffron, please? What's that? What's cardamom? Get the saffron first. So we got two things of that saffron. One has nothing in the other. Oh. What should I get? What's cardamom? What is it? Where's the cardamom? Mm, smells good. Professionals. Do you have any nuts? No. Oh, there's no nuts. Oh, there's no nuts. Oh, there's no nuts. No, no, my 
This looks about done. Okay, and here we go with our taste test. Um, you can see that I've got, here's my, um, here's my uh, ridge gourd uh, made with the tour dog. And um, it's, it's on the spicy side because we added that chili powder, um, but it's gonna go really well um, with this uh, bitter gourd because this, we, if you remember, we added a lot of jaggery. Um, and then we also have this sweet dish, which is the bottle gourd halwa. Do you want to taste it? No, thank you. You can taste it. Mmm. Oops. Oh, that turned out really well. You can taste the bitterness, but you also accompanied by the sweet. I think that's just perfect. Um, the dal. The dal and the ridge gourd. Mm. Perfect. Spicy, but tastes really good. And then, then try. Would you like to try this one? Yeah, try. I'll try it. Good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs>